Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, I'm gonna show you a quick tip for hard ups, uh, which will allow you to create kind of a consistent and uniform colors in the viewport for your materials. So normally, when you have you know a cube and it's just Shift D this all over the place. Uh, let me just turn the screencast keys. Select everything, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, right? And then if I, you know, if I wanted to uh, assign a color to all of them, uh, I can go with Alt M and click on Add Blank Material with Hard Ups. But if I wanted to add different colors, I'm going to go Alt M and simply Control click on it. This will add different mats to each cube. The problem with this one is that, you know, you're going to get a parrot, basically a lot of um, different colors and it could be very confusing. Some people may like it. I'm not too crazy about it. So in Hardups, there is a really cool option here. This is a very important menu, by the way, uh, the star, which allows you to set the most important things for Hardups, which I didn't do, by the way. And this uh, option here, which is called Blank Mat Similar to Viewport, will allow you to do just that. So when you, um, again, click on the star and click on this one, and then have all the you know, cube selected with A and Alt M and Control click on blank mat, you will see that uh, they will receive a very different color uh, to uh, what we had before. And if you go to viewport, you can see that these colors kind of are consistent with what's happening, you know, in, in the viewport. So this is really cool, um, you know, and uh, it, it will help you to kind of um, work in a, a bit of a different way. So when you model in viewport, uh, you're not distracted by colors, but you still can see the difference between different elements. And there's another tip I can give you very quickly uh, in this menu here. If you switch from star to this hard ups menu, you can click on this uh, icon here and check if you're in a current version. I had a lot of questions recently regarding some tools and box cutter and hard ups. You gotta uh, remember that hard ups and box cutter updates quite frequently, so uh, there might be you know small changes coming in. And uh, tools that, for example, we presented in videos a week ago, even or a few days ago, might might have changed. Um, not dramatically, but usually it's just you know a uh, small change. Uh, so you guys might be surprised that behavior is a little bit different. So that's how you check if you're current. And you always should be using current version because you know there are always many bug fixes. And these guys are uh, updating very often. So I suggest you check it at least every two weeks. Yeah, at least I'm I'm usually checking um, every week, but uh, you know sometimes I forget to. For those of you who don't know, I have a new channel. It's called uh, Hard Surface Gaming. And at the moment, I'm uploading Mass Effect 1 Legendary, and we are simply playing games, chilling out, and talking about the design at the same time. So it's a pretty cool channel. Uh, check it out, and don't forget to sub, because it helps, especially at the beginning. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.